Um, so the weight of things, like I said, where, where things really pick up, and here's where we hear Mandy take over on lead vocals for a section. Is this, Mandy, for you almost like acting, like you're playing a particular character in this story? You know, what can you say about that? Yeah, definitely. That... <clears throat> Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> right. Last known recording Ooh. of Mandy Goldman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, yes, yes, Dan. That's definitely uh, how I approached it. Um, yeah, uh, the first time we listened through it, we kind of asked Harry to lay out the story for us, and um, I kind of, yeah, I decided that what was more important in my performances. Um, in this piece was the character then like pretty singing. Okay. Yeah. So tried to get really, I mean, it sounds great. You know. Well, thank you. <laughs> but yeah, like I, I wanted it to have some real investment, um, in the character behind it. Come and join us here in the blur. Have yourselves a love and blast. Forget the future and the past. The sky's about to open up. Who did you see your character being in this part? Um, I see her as kind of like a like a like the girl, girl you meet um in the grassroots like offsite campground like um when you're tripping and you like at a festival and you meet like some super hot girl and she like you you have like one crazy ride together and then uh and then she's gone so that's sort of that's sort of how I saw it. As like I saw her as like a like hippie spirit guide kind of okay yeah thing yeah, and so uh, Joe and Phil kind of picked up the tempo here, you know, and and did their part to really pick this thing up. What did you do to f keep up the energy in the studio? You know, um, well, I think we did this take like a lot of where we were like we had a lot of time to like get me set up for this. So I kind of I went through it a bunch of times, and I was like kind of every time I went through it, we were like, no, we should really be like, go harder than that. Like, okay. um, cause I think in the, in the studio, I still have like a tendency to like, I want to back off the mic a little bit. I want to, I don't want to be screaming my head off cause it feels very close when you're in the studio sometimes, um, right in front of the mic. But we just kind of kept going at it sort of harder and harder. And as I was sort of checking the mic, Harry was able to give me some kind of energy notes. Um, but I think it was like mostly just getting really into the character. Yeah. I have a background in the musical theater. <laughs> Standing up. <laughs> <laughs> 